y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video, I tried out a capsule wardrobe. So the first thing I want to throw out there, the first thing I want to ask is, did you notice? Leave me a comment down below. Did you notice through Vlogmas that I was wearing the same clothes? I'm filming this intro part in November and this video is going to go up end of December, early January, so after Vlogmas. And I wanted to first off use this as a little experiment, a little proof that like nobody really notices when you have a capsule wardrobe, when you wear the same thing over and over. Most people never notice. So today we're going to go through all of my clothes and pick out a winter capsule. Winter capsule for Texas, so it's probably not going to look like most winter capsules. I still need t-shirts because it was 80 degrees yesterday and it's 60 today. <laughs> So I've gone through my clothes many times, I've pared down my wardrobe many times, but I've never done an actual like capsule wardrobe, as little clothes as possible, that sort of thing. And I've also never switched out my closet for the season because again, I am still wearing crop tops in the winter time. And I already have less clothes than my partner. But I've been feeling that like itch to go through my clothes again because I'm not wearing them all and I think it will be nice to put some away and bring them back out in the summertime. The first thing we're going to do is start with everything from the closet and I'm going to make three piles on the bed so stuff that I want to put away, stuff that I want to keep out and then stuff that's a maybe. I also do my laundry on Monday and Tuesday and it is Thursday so there is some clothes in the laundry. I'm not going to worry about counting those because obviously I've worn them so they're going to count towards the uh, capsule. I also did not put a specific number of items on this. I just want to go through my clothes and see where we end up and then if I start seeing that I have too many then maybe I'll put a number on it but I think for now we're just going to not really put any hard and fast rules on it. We're just going to kind of go through the clothes and see what we end up with. So closet first, and then we'll do the nightstand and the drawers. See, we have two nightstands here. This one is my partner's, and all four of these drawers are full of his clothes. That one is mine, and only the top three have clothes in them. The bottom one does not have clothes in it. So, shouldn't take us too long to go through everything. So the first part of this video will be going through all the clothes, picking the wardrobe. The second part will be clips probably from Vlogmas of my different outfits that I put together so you can see how I wore all the pieces together and then we'll do like a conclusion at the end next month after we filmed all of it. Okay, let's jump into it. I feel like this doesn't look like a lot on camera, but like carrying it all out here, it looks like so much. I can't believe I have so many clothes. Like, and I don't even have that big of a wardrobe. This is why it's been stressing me out. I need to get rid of stuff. Let's go. Oh, and I forgot to mention it earlier. We're gonna do jackets last because we have a coat closet where all the jackets are. This is going to be the pile to put away, and then over there will be a pile to keep out, and then maybe I'll need a third pile for like stuff to actually get rid of instead of just put away, but we'll see. Maybe pile over there. I feel like that one needs to go in my costume closet because this is for like one of my costumes. So maybe we'll have an extra pile, costume closet. So far, the keep pile is a lot bigger than the get rid of pile. Ooh. Maybe we'll end up going through the keep pile one more time.
of the online stuff said 33 to 36, so we're only at 23. This is not as much as I thought it looked like, which is cool. Um, this is only tops, though. Well, I mean, there's some dresses in here, too. I guess that counts. And some skirts. I think next I want to go through my jackets before getting into the folded stuff. I think that's what I want to do. So, we'll be right back with all of my jackets and sweaters and coats because there is already a couple of sweaters and stuff in here that I keep in this closet but I keep the other ones over here. The ones that I wear as shirts I keep over here and then the ones that I put on top of I put over there. So let me go get those. Okay I left one of my coats in the closet because it is a very very nice um, wool long coat that I only wear to like really formal events. I know I said wool it was a hand-me-down. I did not pick it out myself. I gave it new life after somebody else didn't want it. I've kept it and I use it pretty much only for, there was one dress I had in here that's like a really fancy nice dress. I wear that usually for like my partner's works, like winter formal event and that's about it. My leather jacket, the one I wear the most, it is faux leather and as you can see it is kind of wrecked in the back. I really need a new one but for now this is what I have and I will continue to wear it. This sweater is for working out. It's like a good workout material and it's got like pockets galore, zipper pockets all, all around. And then my one warm coat is fitted. It's a marshmallow coat but it's so nice and I like it so we will keep that. I have a cardigan and a sweater that is floating around here somewhere that I wear all the time so we don't need to go through those because I, I wear them. The sweater I wear at home all the time when I'm in the office to keep warm, and then the cardigan I wear out to keep warm. It's a very light cardigan, but it's perfect when it's just a little wind chill, and I can just put that over whatever I'm wearing. All right, I'm going to get rid of all the clothes on here that aren't this pile that we're keeping. I'm going to go ahead and put them all away. I'm going to have these in a specific section of the closet, and then the rest of this in a different section, and then the maybes I'll put aside so we can go through that later when we get to the folded stuff. Okay, so I have not pulled out any of my workout clothes, except for that one workout jacket. And I will go through my workout clothes as well, but they always say, like, you can have your full set of, like, five days of workout clothes and not count that as a part of your capsule. So this is all this folded stuff that I am going to go through. And then I'm probably going to reorganize my drawer so that all of the stuff I'm going to keep is, like, on top. And then all the, like, stuff that I'm putting away can go on bottom. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get through all of this. I will say first off, these three pants I wear the most often. My one pair of good jeans, lounge pants, sweatpants. Because I am spend most of the time at home, so I'm usually in comfy clothes. I do have one other pair of jeans. These are like really tight black skinny jeans, so I'll go ahead and keep these as well. And then I wear leggings. I have three pairs of leggings. One of them is in the laundry because I wore them yesterday, but I wear these fabletic leggings all the time. And these are some sweat shorts. I wear these a lot when I'm lounging around the house. As well as these black ones that are like really nice lounge shorts. I have one hat, I have a few beanies, and I have a few scarves. I'm not really gonna count those because I only have a couple of each. But now I'm gonna go through and count everything that's like here and see where we're at. I don't think I'm gonna count the socks though. Socks and underwear and stuff like that. I don't need to count. So I think the total amount of clothes, including like what's in the laundry, is roughly 40. This does not count shoes, workout clothes, hats, scarves. Maybe we'll get into that in a little bit. But I do want to go through this one more time and make sure that these are the pieces that I want to keep. Okay, so this is the winter wardrobe at least the hanging pieces. And all of the clothes that I am setting aside are all down there in the corner. So let's see what we do with all of these over the next month. Of course, we also can't forget about the clothes that I am currently wearing, this long skirt and this long, really cozy, really soft turtleneck. As for the drawers, these top two drawers have my clothes to wear and then that drawer has the clothes that I've set aside 
like shorts and things like that that I don't need. That drawer didn't have any clothes in it to begin with. So just these top two drawers has the all the clothes, including workout clothes, for the winter capsule. People say picking a capsule wardrobe helps you figure out your personal style, and if you notice, all of my clothes are black, white, gray, red. Those have always been my colors of choice. I learned that when I played the minimalist game, when I played the minimalist game like four years ago. I will link that video in the card and down below because I got rid of so many things and I really pared down my wardrobe and when I put everything back in my closet and I looked, I saw the colors that I actually wear, which I also usually wear like blues and purples, but because my hair is blue right now, I'm not wearing a lot of blue and like, you know, depending on the color of my hair will determine what color I'm using as the pop-up color in my wardrobe, what complements it. And just because Christmas is around the corner, red is like the pop of color right now. So yeah, I might also get my partner's reaction to like the capsule because he actually chooses my outfits most of the time. Like to be honest, I'm not the greatest with style. He chooses. He chose today's outfit. He chooses my outfits a lot. Let's move on to putting the outfits together through Vlogmas. Hello! It is now January, and I have been wearing the capsule wardrobe that we picked out back in November for about a month and a half now. So we're back to wrap it up, final thoughts, see if anyone even noticed, and uh, talk a little bit about it in my experience. I loved it. I loved how much easier it's been to pick out clothes. I loved how much easier it's been for my partner to pick out clothes when he does because I said earlier in this video that he picks out my outfits a lot of the time. It has taken away a lot of stress when trying to choose outfits every day. So, I didn't touch any of the clothing that I had put away. I only touched the stuff that I had set out for myself. Except I got two pieces of clothing in December. The first piece was the lined tights. I got the like tights that look like they are... They look like they're tights, but they're like leggings because they're lined with like fleece or whatever on the inside so that I could wear the skirts and be warm. And that was something that I knew that I was going to get. And of course, that's just like a winter undergarment piece, so I don't really count that. And then the second thing I got was a, another circle skirt, a plain black circle skirt. I had forgotten that it was on my Amazon wish list, and my mom got it for me for Christmas. So... That has been added to the wardrobe as well, and I think I'm going to keep it in rotation. It's probably going to be one of the things that stays in my wardrobe year-round because it is just a plain black circle skirt, which means I can wear it any time of the year with tights, without tights, with socks, without socks, with all kinds of different tops, which I'm really excited about. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about that. And then I have the other circle skirt that's got the holes and the zipper and all the like fancy stuff for a little if I need a little extra. I think that my wardrobe is still a little bit bigger than a lot of people's that do capsule wardrobes. Maybe by like 10 pieces or so. Like not by a whole lot, but by a few. What hello? Oh well, I'm putting my contacts in. <gasps> okay, he is gonna come talk to us after he gets camera ready and tell us about what he thought with the capsule wardrobe. 
Um, we've also, lately, uh, the past week, we started watching Queer Eye, and I've seen a couple episodes, but he's never seen any of it. So we started at season one, season one of the new show, not the old show. And I think that he is starting to get into, like, what kind of fashion he should be wearing, and maybe, maybe we'll get him on the capsule wardrobe thing. Because if you look at the wardrobe that, like, they always give the person, it's, like, it's kind of a capsule. Like, it's not very big. Um, like, it's usually, it's usually got more pieces in it than what people online say a capsule should be, but it's, like, it's usually a small wardrobe. So, maybe we'll get him on board. I also, okay, this is another thing. We're moving either next month or the next month. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, because we're moving, having a smaller wardrobe is going to be a huge, huge, huge help. I can almost pack up all of my clothes for winter into one suitcase. And that way, like, while we're moving, I have access to all my clothes. Basically, what my thoughts are is that I will go through my winter capsule, and then once it's, like, starting to get warm, I'll switch over to, like, a warm capsule. So, I'll take all my long sleeves out, put all the short sleeves and stuff that I want in. And then next year when I go to pick out my winter capsule, anything that, like, didn't make it into those two capsules, I will then get rid of stuff. Because I don't have a lot of clothes right now, and I do want to get rid of stuff, and I might get rid of some stuff while we're moving, but... I also want to keep that stuff around in case I want it in my summer wardrobe, in my spring or fall wardrobe. Because I don't know if I'm going to do like a spring and a fall wardrobe or if I'm just going to do a winter and summer yet. Because it didn't even get down to like freezing temperatures until this month. Like last month it was still in the 80s some days and it was like in the 70s and 60s for the most part. So it was still really nice out. And then once it heats up, it'll it'll just go right back to that. And I will be able to get away. Like, pretty much all of spring, I'll be able to get away with, like, summer clothes and some days wearing a light sweater. So I probably won't need my long sleeve clothes at all. And then in the fall, you don't need long sleeves. You need a sweater sometimes, but you don't need long sleeves here. Look who it is! Ah. Oh, man, I may have to change the height because you're so much taller than me. No, I'm just going to... Squished down. You're just gonna down. squat the whole time this is your workout. This is my workout for the leg day. Yeah. I did leg day today with uh, mini bands. Ooh, that yeah. sucks. My legs are gonna be so sore tomorrow. My it's chest perfect. is still sore from Pilates the other day. Pilates aren't that hard. Oh my no, gosh, that's what we're gonna make them do. We're gonna make them do a Pilates workout for you. I've guys. done Pilates. I did Pilates growing up. Me I'm too. Very aware that Pilates suck. Well, they don't suck. They're just, they're a lot more intensive than a lot of people think they are. <laughs> Screensaver mode. What? You're here to talk about your thoughts on my capsule wardrobe. Yep. And your thoughts on capsule wardrobes in general. Yep. And seeing me in the same clothes all the time. And... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> maintain proper height. And, um, we're gonna get you into a capsule wardrobe. I don't know about that. That, that sounds scary. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable with the energy we've created in the studio today. You can have like four capsules throughout a year, so one for each season, and then you can still have like a lot of clothes, just not as much as you have right now. Right. So my thoughts on that feels like if we take my clothes, there probably are four capsules. They're just four different people's capsules. <laughs> four different people's. There's four capsules for each four different people. Exactly. <laughs> That's probably how that would go. Okay. But yeah, um, when it comes to your capsule wardrobe, to her capsule wardrobe, and how it has benefited us, I feel like it has simplified the decision making process for like choosing outfits. And you that need to kind talk of thing. way louder. You need to talk way louder. I'm used to my mic being like right here, so I can no, speak. No, the mic is talk. over there in the camera, and it's shitty. And I'm sorry, well, guys, a, but I don't have a microphone. That sounds like a problem that should be solved with technology. Yeah. Well, guess what? Problems that can be solved with technology means they they you need the money for that technology, and money is how you solve problems, and we don't got none of that. That's fair. Anyway, now that I'm gonna speak louder so that you can hear me, uh. 
What was I saying about the decision making process? Yes, capsule wardrobe simplifies the decision making process for like selecting outfits so or whether she's picking her outfit or I'm picking her outfit. It just makes it really easy to uh, make that decision because there are fewer decisions, saves some brain power for the day. Uh, it also <laughs> casually checks notes. I told him he was going to be in this video, so he like, like, Washed and moisturized his face, put his contacts in, did his hair, like did wrote hair. notes. Did I do my hair? I mean, it looks, it's not sticking up everywhere. It looks oh. like you kind of did your hair, but it also looks like a little boy hair. Shut up. <laughs> you should, um, get your hair done, get some product I'm in I'm going that. to. That is the plan. Yeah, don't, some product don't, in there. don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Anyway. But yeah, takes up less space in your closet. Not that that mattered, because Not I already that that took mattered. up a she... tiny bit of space, and our closet's huge. Yeah, she took up maybe like a fifth, if that, of our closet. The rest is my shit. Um, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, you should have space to breathe. Your brain should have space to breathe, even in your closet. It, 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 it's very important to create a healthy mind and headspace. Um, last thing, which I should have just looked at a second ago and then forgot. Uh, having like fewer items and having to really hone in on making that decision of like what you want to keep versus what you don't lets you articulate and like identify what what your style is and forces you to think about it a little bit more which is what I talked about and the video that I linked um, that I did way back when I did the minimalist game and I really like put all my clothes back in my closet after that and I was like oh there are five colors in here black white gray purple red blue occasional like i don't know if you want to count black and white so six colors but anyways um i feel like i started down here and then i like slowly started standing up and then I'm like slowly starting back down so that throughout that part of the video it's just gonna be like Whoop! this concludes thoughts goodbye whoosh but it helps the buying process when you are buying new clothes and it, it helps the buying process in two ways. One, you know what colors you're gonna wear, you know what clothes that you like, and so you know what colors to look for and to buy. And two, you know what pieces you need. So, something that I have found through this process is that I do not own, nor have I ever owned, a pair of pants that were not made of legging material, denim, like sweatpants and lounge pants. So yeah, I've never owned like a nice pair of pants that are like comfortable and cloth and not denim or leggings. So that is one thing that I'm going to keep an eye out for. That is one thing that I do want to add to my wardrobe is just a nice comfortable pair of pants. And then of course those lined tights was something I needed as an undergarment to make more of my clothes wearable throughout the winter season. I also, uh, the jackets that I picked out so I had my leather jacket my like faux leather jacket which is falling to pieces I really need a new one and then I have my cardigan my big winter coat and I think there was one more hold on I don't remember which one it is oh my workout jacket which doesn't really count because it's my workout clothes so I don't really have a warm trench coat or just a warm coat that's not like big puffy coat. So that is something that I would like to add to my wardrobe as, uh, as a part of my winter things. And now that we're like smack dab in the middle of winter here, but at the like end of February, I will start looking at places for their like sales from winter clothing and I will hopefully be able to find a pair of pants and a pair and a jacket or two that I can add to my winter capsule for next year. I think that is everything. We're definitely gonna do more of these capsule wardrobe videos. I'm gonna come back and do a update whenever I transition my capsule. Maybe I'll do another update at like the three month mark to see like thoughts because like I said nobody has really noticed nobody in my life has noticed nobody on here has noticed nobody actually notices so I think that's something that a lot of people are afraid of and I just want to like put that out there but like 
you're good, do the thing. It's so helpful for your brain when you are overwhelming, when you are overwhelmed and have decision fatigue all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comments if you even realized what was happening, what you think of my outfits and my style. I know that it needs a lot of work, but we're working with the clothes that I have right now. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Let another video play after this so you can help me reach my goal of getting to the 4,000 watch hours. It would be so helpful if you can let another video after this play through. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.